Hello everyone, welcome back. It's time for some Icarus and some cool, exciting, big news coming to the channel. So I streamed this today as I'm recording this tonight. I uh, talked with my people. So the people that come to the stream, like th these are some dedicated Meathead Nation type people, you know. A lot of people that help me out survive in the forest for 50 hours. A lot of people that helped me out behind the scenes and stuff like that. Uh, just huge, huge tons of help. And I really value a lot of the people's input. They're very dedicated to show up to the stream for like six, seven, eight years, 22 years in a row. So that's good stuff. So what we talked about was what, well, I'm going to get this out of the way and we got some things to do. We're going to, we're going to try and run the shotgun a little bit, but I want to check on some mods for this. We'll do that in a second. And... Maybe we'll grab a mission or something where we can try and utilize the shot. Actually, I have a mission ticking away right now, which is deer hunt. So we got to finish the deer hunt. So before I look in there, it takes a little bit of focus in there. So the big news is the new series that we're going to run. And I've been thinking about it for a while and talking with some people. One series that I really want to play again <clears throat> is Valheim. Now, I've played Valheim. They've done some, you know, they've done a lot of updates. Also, Mistlands came out. And since I played, they've released a ton of community mods, right? Like Nexus mods, all these mods, game-changing type mods. So what, one of the things we're going to do is going to play a modded Valheim series, which is going to be super fun. That game is, it's like this, right? When you think about open world type with really good building, hunting, it it has, from what I can, the nostalgia feel I have from it, it has one of the best kind of driving journey mission type things, right? So the thing that you have to go, you can't just say, well, the snow biome is over there, I'm going to go to that. No, you have to go to this biome here, be able to gather the resources found in that biome, build the right armor, build the right weapons, defeat the boss, and then you can go to that biome. And then same thing. From that biome, you have to do all that before you can go to the next type of biome and islands and boats and trolls and just really, really good, good challenging fights too. So I'm looking forward to that. So that's one thing. The other thing is the Long Dark. One of the favorites of this channel was my Long Dark playthroughs. Very slow burn survival type game, but there's something about it. You know, it has that something that is very interesting. So we're going to do the Tales from the Far Territory new release of the Long Dark. And unlike this Icarus series where I uploaded it daily, what I'm going to what I think might be better is to alternate two series, you know, I'll kick off one series, probably Valheim first and get it started. And then we'll alternate between Valheim and Long Dark and always, always keeping an eye out for other things that are upcoming. So that's pretty exciting for me. I hope it's exciting for you guys. Let's take a look at mods for the shotgun. So shotgun attachments. So right now we have a decrease spread one on here. This one is decrease spread two. It gives us 40% accuracy and plus 25% crit, which is pretty good. And then we've got barrel widening. So this, this spreads out wider, so it, they consider that less accurate. Gives you plus 40% projectile damage, minus crit damage, though. It's kind of like the opposite of that. <clears throat> Lightweight, I don't need that. Covert, stealth. So this is like a, this is the suppressor. This is the suppressor. And this is scope. So I think we'll just upgrade to decrease spread too to get a tighter spread. And in, in theory, in... In real life, if you tighten the spread of a shotgun, you also increase range. It's not said here, but it, you will increase your range. Could be a side effect. All right, so we need some two, we need one carbon fiber 
Titanium, we should be good. Carbon fiber, we may need to make. Nope, got one. All right, so a carbon fiber, titanium, uh, epoxy. I'm trying to remember all the stuff I saw. All right, so titanium, an epoxy. We obviously need to yank the uh, the other mod off that gun because it is a requirement. So let's do that first. Make sure I don't. These are all level one stuff here. So we're going to remove this mod. Well, that's working. We'll go to the side bench. Shotgun. Oh, we got everything. It's titanium, carbon fiber, epoxy, and the narrow barrel attachment level one. Give it to me good. Detaching thingy. All right, we got that. Take this off. Place item in slot to attach. Here, we're going to select said recipe, that one. This is kind of an, an interesting bench. It's one bench, but two sides to it, right? Two sides to it. Um, did it craft? Power. I forgot it's an electric bench. Oopsies. Who brought the new guy? I was totally being new today on the stream. Whoa, but we're having fun. All right, so... I think that I need to detach that one. I still haven't really fi figured out the uh, the way I want to do the power. I actually, I kind of figured out the way I want to do the power, but I haven't implemented it. So there's that. There is that. Is it crafting now? This guy. Craft. It's not crafting. Craft all one. We've got power. Craft. <laughs> Why isn't it crafting? Why did you put my shotgun over there? Narrow barrel attachment. It's saying I have everything. Two, one, two, one. Okay. Oh, it's crafting up. We have to, I didn't even look up there. Sometimes it gets bogged down. Like, you know, if you launch it without power, you launch it without water, you know, and some of the other things, it will it will hang up here and then act like, you know, the world is broken. So <laughs> all, apparently, apparently all you have to do is look at the screen. I know it's a crazy thought. Just like looking at the screen to see what's going on. <laughs> I'm making fun of myself, okay? Roll with the punches, people. All right. So in the stream, I actually went back to the other mining cabin. Cabin. The other mining uh, house. And I also went to the summer cabin. Apparently, the reason why the roof looks so stupid is I had stairs instead of roof slats. So we fixed that. And also I had the the door frame inverted, which looked really ridiculous. All right, so I brought back some iron. Right now, we're actually building back a little bit. We're gaining a little bit of ground with copper, which I had I had totally annihilated the copper front. So I've done a pretty good job with gold as well. Check out the gold. I don't even think I'll be able to put the, no, can't even put them in there. There's so many. All right, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the gold out of there if I can take it all. We'll put this stuff in here. So we've got titanium, platinum, and aluminum in here. Over here, I, I man, I got a ton of these chests now from missions. Look at them all. They're they're pretty cool. I mean, I, I think, honestly, I think they could look a little bit better. But we'll put the gold in here. So gold and copper were two that I really... Uh, I really used up like a ton of it, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and turn off our power for now. Deactivate. And we'll put my power cord back. Now, the thing why I stopped using the shotgun early on was the cost of the, um, the shells. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make some shotgun shells. Gunpowder make 18 gunpowder there 
Gunpowder actually takes a while to make. So I'm making some gunpowder there, and I should have... I have 36 here. So shotgun shells. Oh, look at that. Copper ingots. Nice. And epoxy. Okay. Oh, I said four. It's six. Six. Wow, that's six gunpowder per shell, where it's one gunpowder per rifle round. So... Some people said the shotgun is super powerful in this game, and I agree. It was when I used it, but I tell you what, that right there, that's expensive. Now, I can make these rifle rounds even cheaper. This is a one-to-one -one ratio here. If you look at the times five, it uses... Well, okay, that's weird. It was using less iron than... Yeah, I was using less iron before. I wonder if there's a, um, is there an expanded something to better shotgun shells? Because I know we unlock shotgun shell and rifle round, which, I don't know, does that tier three? Tier three. We have smoke grenade, frag grenades we could do, but I'll probably blow myself up like I do in seven days. That is just crazy. I'm I, I'm really enjoyed this playthrough, you guys. It's not totally done yet. Oh, here we go. So we got yeah, just buckshot shell. So we go we go rifle round and incendiary round. Eight gunpowder for that. What would you want that for? A boss? Get him get some uh, some burning ticking away on him. Interesting. So we got an updated rifle in Tier 4 right here, but we didn't get an updated shotgun. Now, the shotgun is eight, eight bullets, eight shells. So I think I just want to make sure that I'm dealing what I'm dealing with is the right stuff. What did I need to get? Epoxy or something? Copper. Copper. And I just talked about how much copper we had. And now I'm going to start using it up. It's funny. As soon as you as soon as you think you have like a... Look at that. I can only make six. Because six times six is 36, apparently. More gunpowder. This is why I stopped making shotgun shells. Because of just how expensive that was. I'm going to make some more gunpowder. I can always get more sulfur. Charcoal. I'm finally getting to use all this charcoal up in here. Look at all that charcoal. Delish. Let's see, put it over here. 100. That's going to take six and a half minutes. Six and a half minutes. So I had 39. We have 45. We'll make a little bit more epoxy. Probably bring some of that epoxy over here. And then it's funny, the um, I did a quest hunt, you know, hunt creatures or whatever, and it ended up being a uh, deer, deer quest, deer quest, right? And the funny thing about it was that it was just like the other one. You see a deer, you shoot it. Nope, wrong kind of deer. You see another deer, shoot it. Nope, wrong kind of deer. So it ended up being... One, not the, not the big, huge uh, deer, but the, uh, this must be out of wood. You're out of wood. You're out of wood. No, you're out of order. Okay, wood, please. I usually turn this off during the day, so it just saves wood. But I, re I really like the look of them. I mean, we talked about it. <laughs> He talked about their ability to light up the room. But look, looking in here, this build reminds me of Valheim, right? What the, oh, just, I really like that. I really wish I could have spent more time there. Now I'm looking forward to possibly some textures and stuff like that in there. So it should be pretty cool. So you can't shoot the small deer, which are the chamois. You can't shoot the large buck. But you can shoot the middle size one. And you I you know, you see deer all over the place, but then when it's time, just like the rabbits, when it's time to actually hunt them, it's really hard to see. Now that actually looks like one over there. Wow. 
I wonder why was that thing running so crazy? They they move so fast. Look at the rabbit. So is a rabbit dog paddling? I think it is. I think the rabbit is dog paddling. Not I'm not <laughs> I'm honestly not a big fan of these hunting. I'm at 6 of 19. I'm not a big fan of them, but I guess I guess the one that was cool was the one that drove us into the desert and we basically had to just go go in the desert and have at it. She got to move around and see what was there and it gave us a reason for being there. It gave us a real reason for being there. I don't need a ton of shells, but let's see how many more we can make. Hey, six. Each time it's six. Six times six, 36, plus five is 42. Anyway, I'm making things up now. That should be enough for now. 57. We'll let everything else tick away. Let's. So I am getting, uh, I did find a boar, and I got four more crispy bacon, but I've already gone through them, as you can see. Um, no, 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 no. What I'd like to do, replace the crispy bacon with vegetable pie or fish curry is maximum health. This one just looks like it has a lot of stuff. I think the fish curry is probably better. And then you got the standard kind of mushroom soup, kind of standard, like regular meat. You know, it doesn't give you a, a ton of stuff there. All right. Let's see what the shotgun can do. Now, hunting deer is not what we want to use the shotgun for. But a good place to go... Well, there's a wolf. Let's test its range. That's That range is really bad. Unless I completely missed that first shot, which it's it's definitely possible. See, I should be able to knock that bird out of the air with a shotgun. Now, I did basically... Oh, there's a deer right there. That's the correct deer, I believe. 7 of 19. Yes! 7 of 19. Let me go shoot a crocodile or something with a shotgun. Now, when I played this originally, I remember... Like, the map, you know, had a long area like this, you know? It was a long canyon like this. And I remember having to run all the way down and hook over and work in the area over here where the wolf den was and things. I remember very vividly running back from there and running face first into a bear in the bushes. Never, never run into a bear in the bushes. And I had the shotgun on and... It hit, it had like multiple pellet hits that it showed, you know, like hit indicators. And I'm like, oh my, it one shot the bear. And I, at that time, I didn't have this gun. I only had kind of like the, I was going to call it the long neck rifle, but that's arc. You know, the regular bolt action, which is, it's powerful, but it's very slow to, to do a follow-up shot, right? It's very slow to do a follow-up shot. Oh, I hear... Speaking of, I hear a bear. And we're in the bushes. Bear in the bushes. I definitely heard a bear over here. Yep, there he is. Hey, bear. There, you see all those hits? That's what it did. Bigger, bigger the target, more pellets hit it, right? Smaller the target, some pellets are going to fly by. So so the shotgun is good. It's great power. But for me, I look at limitations of different, different weapons. Now, in ARC, I like the shotgun best. I mean, it's super powerful. It's got decent range, but you just wait till they get up close. And blast them. <clears throat> the long neck rifle you can make pretty early on to the game. But I tell you what, man. I don't know if they debuffed it or if I just didn't remember it being as weak. It is. Sometimes I can one-shot some people, like headshot. Other times, man, I'm shooting and it's like I'm shooting marshmallows at them. <clears throat> 
two shots. Now those guys are these guys are pretty tough, little fellas. And again, small target, right? Wow, did you see the blood plume from that dude? <clears throat> I'm just thinking, did I hear a croc? Did I see someone swimming over there, maybe? Now, is that one of my deer? No, don't run away. Wow, they are so fast. And they're kind of, not only they're fast, they're a bit glitchy. Left, right, and center. What the? I don't even know where that dude was. Got him. That was not one of ours. I think that guy was right here. Dude, if that guy was behind me and it auto hit him, we got to find where that croc was. It's got to be over here. I was eight. Oh, there he is. So uh, that I was aimed like this and it auto hit that guy. I say auto hit. It's the bullet time yeah bullet like bullet uh bullet cam like from all those sniper games i play oh i love those sniper games those are super fun like ghost warrior contracts and stuff ah oh, so good uh speaking of which while i'm here i need more sulfur so if we see it we might as well grab some since we're out in the weather and all yeah in, so in this game here i honestly I want my distance from from the bad guys, number one. Number two, for the, I don't know, I don't think the cost outweighs the benefit when it comes to the shotgun in this game. That is so expensive on gunpowder. Six gunpowder per shell. That's six rifle rounds. Six rifle rounds. Now, I guess the other th way to look at this, and I just, just thought of it is, um, Iron is way more common than copper, right? And it takes copper in the shotgun shell and iron in the rifle shell. So, yeah, I would just I would just make the the rifle and forget the shotgun. And you know me, I love me some shotgun action. But in here, it's just so expensive. The, the ammunition's just too expensive for its its payoff. You got to be up close. Like, you know, on some of those missions where I had four or five bears charging at me at level 80 bears. Just like, well, what are you going to do now? You know, you got to let them all get close. Oh, pickaxe for days. Holy cow. You know, you I do have some actually melee damage things I could put on the pickaxe or the axe. But I'm not into melee that much. Actually, I'm not into melee at all, honestly. I'm a gun guy. I like to shoot. You know, if you're in a zombie apocalypse, if you're in a a uh, survival situation on a on a foreign planet, on a is it a foreign planet or on a different planet, then you don't want to be up close to anything when you're splattering it with something, right? Meaning, you don't want to shoot a zombie up close and have it all its zombie blood go all over you. You ever seen in the zombie movies how? It's not just the women, but the people in general, and they scream, they open their mouths wide open and scream as they're getting attacked by this bloody, pussy, ugly, disgusting zombie, right? Dude, I couldn't even keep up with that with my mouse movement. All right, eight out of 19. We're definitely on a roll. Is that a... Kia bird over there? I think so. Dude, I'm... This storm... Yeah, that's a close one, man. That storm take it, taking a little bit out of me. Speaking of that, it's a good time to eat. Four buff minimum, please. Right there, it actually helped that I had a bit of spread on the shotgun trying to keep up with that thing glitching across my screen. Wow. Okay, that's the that's the first bank. I, oh, I didn't even look. That's the first bank I haven't been able to jump up. I had to repair. Uh, you see the the top one? Yeah, this place takes some mad damage. Is what it is. Though. It was a mission. It's not part of my thing. You want to fall? Fall to the ground, friend. You know, like I said before, with this collecting of this stuff, if you ever want to, if you ever want to just like really build up your sulfur and all that. 
You just take one day, take one day and cruise around. You can have two cabinets full of all this stuff. Very easy to get. I feel like they changed it a little bit. I, I think before they didn't, they had it only out at the far outside edges, not so much inside. I could be totally wrong on that, but it's like this edge here. I've cleared it out, but it had a lot all through here. Makes it just way easier. Just like you don't want your game to be an eating and drinking simulator, you don't want it to be a find the silica simulator either. Or the sulfur sim, you know. Bring it on, suckers! Bring it on. Oh, somebody somebody hasn't been taking care of their, their windmill here. Their water wheel. <clears throat> of course, I left my door open like an idiot as usual. Hey, I said close. Okay. Worst thing is leaving this door open and there's a storm. So we got to go over here. Do that. Sort it. Got one row of that, a little more than a row. We're doing good on sulfur now. Jimmy, Jimmy, jam. So I'm not going to actually use the rest of this gunpowder here to make shotgun shells. Why? I don't know. I just... Look, the, the thing has to be, like, enjoyable for you to use as well, right? You got to be like, yeah, oh, I really like using the shotgun. Hmm, not so much. I know. It's weird for me to say that. So... With deer, you guys, with deer, see, I've got only one more of crispy bacons. I'm going to eat it. Ooh, last one. And I'm going to grab... I'm going to grab some pie. <laughs> Delicious. Let's, we'll have to just go cruising a little bit, see if we can find some deer. I remember running. It's just like the dang pumpkins. You know, when I don't need pumpkins, they're ever. When I do, I can't seem to find more than two or three. Same thing with deer. I'm run They're running right next to me now that I need to hunt them. You start to think, is there something built into the game to where... Huh. Hey, two shots. Yeah, that was a good jump shot, too. What that guy was thinking. These are always good spots. Like, you can spot wildlife and just shoot from up here. Except, I'm not spotting any wildlife. Is there, I you know what I wonder, is there bait in this game? Look at, there's a Komodo and a Komodo. Oh, I did kill that. Okay, so <laughs> the shotgun does have some range. I just got that bird. Pull! Where are we going to find our deer? Where are we going to find our deer? Come on, we got this. This would be good, actually, to complete this. Oh, my gosh. You guys, I had a mission. Hey, did I level up again? That's level 50 for the fifth time. I had a mission, find the, uh, find the crate, the consumable, or the, uh, supply cache. And it was, it was over here on the other side of the lake. I'm not exaggerating, you guys. When I got, hold on. No, not the baby! Dang it! Not the wolf! What the? Are you serious? I think I got it. Nine of 19. Dude, it hit everything but what I was actually... I mean, that bullet cam is cool and all, but that's weird when it locks on to a completely different target. What was I saying? Is there another storm? Didn't we just finish a storm? Oh, my God, game. Oh, I killed it in its paw. Epic headshot. <laughs> Not. What was I saying? I don't remember. Dang it. I had something really, really smart. Really wise. I don't remember. That thing threw me off over there. Maybe this is a short storm. I kind of want to go over in that area. What the heck was I talking about? I always do that. Doing. 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 -a Doing. Oh, the supply crate. <clears throat> so it was a mission, you know, find the crate. 
and that's just one you go, you see smoke in the distance, you get it. And I've actually got some really good, that's where I got a, the platinum pickaxe from. This was, I think, a medium, maybe a medium mission. <laughs> it had sticks and wood in it, and not even a full stack. <laughs> sticks and wood. What kind of, re that's not a reward, that's a slap in the face. Like, really? Oh, you know what we should do? We should go check on that wooden house that I have up there. It's been a long time since I checked on that. There's usually deer in this draw going up toward the snow. That's why I was heading over here initially. I just think the storms actually make the deer scatter too. Now this shotgun has... I mean, this rifle has the suppressor, right? Yeah, this has the suppressor on it. So when I shoot it, it shouldn't alert surrounding deer, but it's only a, a certain percentage chance of perceived threat. Yeah, it seems like when the storm is active, no, no animals. No animal. That's a little one. Just a little fella. Seem to be a lot more of these moas around too. Who brought in all the moas? It feel you know it, it feels really good playing these types of games. Like I, I was glad that I played this, and that you guys enjoyed it for over thirty episodes. Right? Really excited about these. It's always something I've done. You know, I just, it just feels good to be able to get back. That's a large one. That's not the right one. Yeah, 9 of 19 still. And it's going to be good. I think Valheim's going to be fun. Excuse me. And Long Dark is always good. I'm interested to see. I haven't looked anything up about the uh, Tales from the Far Territory. I like doing it that way. Kind of like to be surprised by it. Plus, you guys sometimes can help out and go, oh, hey, there's a shack through that canyon. Go check that. There may be something good there. You know, that's always pretty cool. I really do like the interaction. That's another large one. It's large deer. Is that what they're calling these? Yeah, lar so not large deer, not baby deer, regular deer. You'd think that just deer would suffice, but apparently not. Not bears. Let's see if I can sneak right up on him. I was going to say, speaking of long dark, do you remember when I went up and poked the bear? And it was just sleeping? It wasn't dead? Yeah, not, not so smart. Those Komodos take two every time, no matter what. Wow, I got my my exposure pretty... Oh! Oh, no. Do I have a hammer on me still? I don't think so. Oh, I do. <laughs> my poor little guy. Look at him. Actually, it's not as bad as it's been. That's at 400. I've had this as low as 40. There's 40 durability on that one. Shockingly, this thing has survived. 40 durability on that one. 40 durability on that one. This thing has actually survived a while. It's interesting. I think what it is, is that I'm not around it. If I was here, it'd probably burn to the ground or something. You know? Even the floor took damage. It's interesting. The door? I don't think the doors take damage. I think just the the outside edge there we go in case you somebody's cruising by and need a place to stay there they have it I didn't realize how far my rifle was degradating De degradation dead 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 all right no deer in the snow no polar bears here just wolves so we'll head back down we're at nine of 19 dang it Rabbits were definitely the hardest. Just because they're really hard to see. 
Rabbits, they're not. <laughs> I I would hunt them by the little like panic exclamate. That's a regular deer. Booyah! Ten of nineteen, nice. Yeah, I usually see a few through here. I'm hunting for sport right now, not for food. Is that one I shot already? Deer carcass. No, no one came and ate that thing. Surprise, those dang Komodos, they come out of nowhere just gnawing on everything that you haven't harvested yourself. That looks like a chamois there. Oh, no. Oh, there's another one there. Twelve of nineteen. That was a twofer. That was a twofer. I knew this area was pretty good. They like walking from here up there and back for some reason. Look at this twofer right here. So I took people's advice and I started carrying around ramps to get up areas like this. But what I found was they like to break when I get way up like this. They like to break on me. But that works, huh? Remember, this is where I did that was it last episode? It might have been last episode. I did that timed, hard timed event. And I almost couldn't make it up on this plateau. If I would have had those things, it would have been like, quit looking like an idiot jumping up and down against the rock and just build ramps. I almost think that you, I have like a hard time seeing deer at a distance. Well, I can see that wolf, but... You would think I would see something in that. This is a fairly large clearing. When I get down there, it would it would definitely fill in. Look at this, no scope. Oh. The wolves don't stand a chance. They just don't stand it. I really want to finish this, but man, sometimes these could take hours. Elevation, high ground is always the best, but I actually don't spot. You would think I'd spot. What is that? Yes. Sorry for your baby. Was that a bear? This is bear territory for sure. 13 of 19. Oh, right up there. I think I saw a bear. Yeah, there's a bear. Oh, I got it finally. I would think I was hitting trees. 14 of 19. I think there's a bear up here. I thought I saw its big butt wagging, wiggling and waggling in between the trees. Yep, there he is. Good eye, meaty. Good eye. Look at I'm going to sneak up on him again. Hey. Hey, bear. Bear. How good is my stealth armor? Dude, that, that's pretty pretty good armor. And this isn't even the hunter armor. My stealth game is on point. Oh, that that was uncalled for. But you know what? Lost his mommy. Lost his mommy. My stealth game is on point. I mean, it always is. You guys know that. Meaty stealth, that's a large one, I think. Yeah, 14 of 19 still. Time to move. Time. Maybe we'll go over where our old mines were and work our way back up that side of the valley. Valley of the mountains. Man, it be de be de. Jolly green. Oh. Jolly green giant. You kind of have to have a keen eye to catch stuff. You know? You kind of have to be able to see the slightest of movement and go, what was that? Hey, -ya! you're like, oh, what about the, all those that you missed there? <laughs> hey, I'm not saying I can see everything, but Sometimes not too shabby. Oh, something way down there. 
That was one. 15 of 19. Oh, my God. I couldn't even tell what it was. I just put the the front sight. I was front sight focused on that, baby. Front sight focused. I guess the scope one would come in handy. Scope level two if you were doing hunting missions like this. See him back up? He jumped down. He jumped down and then backed up like maybe he's scratching his butt on that oxide. That feels good. Come on, we're getting close, you guys. We're getting close. 15 of 19. Geyser. I can't believe I can walk right up next to a bear and it not even know I was there till I tap him on the jawbone with my shotgun. Tap, tap, tap a -roo. Something there looks like a rabbit or a chamois. Come on, baby. Give me some deer that's a rabbit. If I can see a rabbit, where the deer at? Do 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 what do 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 Maybe they're all hanging out around the geyser. I can hear things. Either over here. Or down below, I heard heard some elk. Oh, heard a bear. Got him. He actually was sneaking by me. 16 of 19. That fool is actually sneaking by me. I almost made it by. Come on, baby. Yeah, the, you know what? This, like... Right now, the um, I know I talked about it before, but I'll talk about it one more time. The only thing that detracts this game for me is this stuttering. All it's just it's just constant. It's just constant. I could understand a little bit if I had it modded or I was running on ultra, but man, it's just constant. And like right now, it's just so hard to. I have to wait, let it settle before I even try to think about shooting. Long, oh yes, shooting long range. You know. Oh my gosh, we're so close. 17 of 19. So close. There might be deer up above my house on that plateau up there. There's that cave. Oh, I just so wanted that cave to be open. I wonder if things, though, would come from the desert through there. Like, I'd have scorpions in my backyard or something. That wouldn't be cool. That would not be cool. Woo. Woo! All right, come on. We need just need a couple more. A cut. Up. Oh, oh, jeez. Ah. <laughs> I'm trying to laugh it off, man. This game is beautiful. Like it really looks good, but they've got to they've got to work on that optimization somehow. I don't remember. I I th I thought Valheim ran ran good. I I don't remember. We'll 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 find out. And uh, Long Dark is is a slow mover, so it's not. I think it's pretty good though. I think it's pretty good. Shammer. Come on. Two more deer. We 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 want to complete this. You can see how far my load distance is. It's not very far. See how the grass ends right there? Not None of that. I did all that to try and stop the, the spikies. It takes away. It takes away from the overall beauty. Beauty, eh? Should I double check up here? I'm trying to remember if I, if I saw a lot up here. 
I know there's animals up here. There's a chamois. There's a Kia. Another chamois. I don't see. I see these two chamois right here. Wolf over there. Come on, deer. Oh, dear. A wolf right there. Wolf right there. Hip fire! Well, I'm... Is that one there? Is that... That looks like a chamois again right there. It's coming down that rock. Yeah, that's a little one. Not gonna find him standing here. I gotta go look for him. I'm surprised I'm even this far with these. Going over by that snow biome was definitely a good call. That was a good place for him. Dun, 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 dun. The hunt is on. And you see, there should be a ton through here. Oh, I just saw one. Should be a ton through here because of the water. Not the, it's gonna it's gonna track the wolf watch. Oh I got it! It showed the wolf! It showed the wolf, but it actually hit my target. What? 17 of no way. It didn't count that? What? Oh, it was a large deer. Dang it! Thought I was doing good for a minute. Come on, baby! If you were a deer, you'd be right here drinking from this stream in this luscious water. Did it seem like, remember when I was running around before and I wasn't deer hunting? There was deer running past me. They were all, now they're like, oh, avoid that guy. He's trying to complete a mission. He's sport hunting. He's a sport hunter. We just need two more. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Where the deer at, man? Shammy. Dude, seriously? I just heard something over there. Wolf. The deer do kind of make a, a, a noise that I'm not even going to try to imitate it. This area seems to kind of suck for deer. I definitely hear something over there. You'd think a nice river valley like this, man, be full of deer. Teeming with deer. There's one. 18 of 19. Oh, ho, 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 ho. This actually might be not enough land for him to be over here. I did, I did hear something over here. Oh, that's a large one, isn't it? Oh, or, or you can just shoot that guy. That's a large one. That's not going to count. 18 of 19. Oh, pero. Right at the butt. Kill 100 deer. Deer killer 2. <laughs> it makes it sound so bad, but it is true. Kill 500 creatures with firearms. Deadly aim three. Hmm. What does that say about sport hunting? They definitely make the animal the animal sounds. Kind of get you looking in the 
general direction. We need one more. And we can claim our epic reward of wood and sticks. Oh yes, done. Yes! Oh, give me some wood, give me some sticks. Epoxy time? Rubberized attachment. I bet you that's for not breaking your dang ankles. It's not even level two. Wow. Well. These rewards blow, man. That was a lot of hunting for some... You know how much... You know how many ingots are ingots? You know how many ore I could have found in a third of the time I took to hunt? And we started this today with like nine, eight, eight out of 19, something like that. Wow. Imagine me having to get that many more. I'm going home. I'm running home, you guys. All right, that's going to do it for me, you guys. Hit that old like, Buto. Join me next episode. Thanks for watching.